Here in this video, we're going to walk you through setting up and installing the QuickBooks Desktop Sync Tool. In order to sync to QuickBooks Desktop, you're going to have to install a small tool on the machine where QuickBooks resides so that it can push and pull information from LMN. Note that if you're using QuickBooks Online, you don't really need to watch this video. This is going to be for QuickBooks Desktop users. It's a lot simpler to set it up for QuickBooks Online. So if you're using QuickBooks Desktop, let's start with the first thing we have to do, which is Pick the users that have permission to sync to QuickBooks. To do that, you're going to have to log in as your system administrator or somebody who's got security admin privileges. Then you're going to go to the account menu, and then you're going to go to set up users. In the setup users, simply pick the user that you want to allow to sync to QuickBooks. Go to the security tab and change accounting access to full access. The default will be no access. That use you're going to want to change it to full access. And then you click OK. Now that user can sync to QuickBooks. Here it's important to not give everybody access to sync to QuickBooks, especially estimators or salespeople. They may enter estimates or they might process timesheets. But the problem with having too many people sync to QuickBooks is that the customer name gets entered in QuickBooks one way. In LMN, somebody else enters it a different way. The person doing the sync doesn't know that. They sync the information. Another customer is created with slightly different name, but it's the same customer. It's really nice to have a gatekeeper with QuickBooks, somebody that is the one that runs the syncs, and they make sure that all the job and estimate and timesheet information go to the correct jobs as they're entered in QuickBooks. So maybe a one or two, or if you're a big company, maybe three people with access to accounting, but I really wouldn't give much more than that. Once you got that step done, that's easy. We're ready for the setup step. To find the QuickBooks desktop tool, you're going to go to the QuickBooks menu, and then you're going to go down here to Setup. Now, you've got to install the QuickBooks Sync Desktop app first. So there's a button right here. It says click here to download it. We'll do that. Now, it's important before you run this tool or actually install it on the machine that you close down QuickBooks first. So make sure if you've got QuickBooks running on your machine, it's a good time now to shut it down entirely. Make sure it's completely shut down. And sometimes the best way to do that is actually to restart your computer. Make sure it's not even running in the background. You'll only have to do that the first time, though, when we're doing the install. After that, it gets a lot easier. Now, if you used Chrome, it might download it here to the bottom. Or in, if it's uh, Firefox, it might be to your downloads folder. Either way, we're going to open it now or run it. And you're going to get a screen like this. It says the setup wizard. We're going to say next. Just leave the default file location. Next. And it says it's ready and then hit next. Oftentimes, depending on the version of Windows you'll get, you'll get this access or this uh, extra permission uh, request. Just click yes to that and it'll install. If it's wait, holding on the please wait here, just check your task bar. Chances are there's another little window in the bottom bar saying, hey, do you want to start it? And this again is giving you the error. To avoid any errors with QuickBooks, you have to restart QuickBooks before attempting your next sync. So make sure if you had QuickBooks up and running that you shut it down completely and again, best to restart your computer. Would you like to run QuickBooks Sync now? We'll click yes. And that will open a tool that'll look exactly like this. And this is where we're going to set up some of our settings. We're going to cover these in other videos. Um, this is where we'll publish estimates or import customers. And if I go to Element Time, this is where we can do some stuff from time, timesheets and invoices. That's great. That's all we need to know for now though. We'll set up the uh, we'll set up the actual access later. So before we shut this down, let's just look at how to get connected to your QuickBooks file. First thing you're going to want to do here is connect to your LMN account. So you click this. It's going to bring up a username and password screen. Put in your username and your password and click OK. Note that the username and passwords, the same one you use for LMN, has to be somebody with accounting permission set to on. We did that a couple of minutes ago in the security step. Um, so the only people that can uh, log in successfully here are people whose accounting privileges are set to true. Once you've got that information, you can click OK. It'll authenticate it against our web server and should come back with a message saying that it was successful. Once you've done that, you've done the easy step. Now we need to click, uh, connect to your QuickBooks company file. So now actually what you want to do is you want to open your QuickBooks. Once your QuickBooks is open, make sure it's open to your company file and logged in with a user with admin privileges. 
The first time you do this, you're going to want to open QuickBooks, log in your company file, but log in as an admin. An admin has to be the one that creates the initial connection between LMN Sync and QuickBooks. It has to give LMN permission to access your QuickBooks file and only an admin can do that. So once we've got QuickBooks open, we're going to want to uh, go back to the LMN window and say connect to our QuickBooks file. You'll get this little screen here. You're going to click next to continue. And here it's going to ask for the company file and the QuickBooks. And again, note, you must have QuickBooks open in order to do this. If you don't know your company file and path, you go to the choose button. So once you click that menu, you can then navigate through your files and folders and find your QuickBooks uh, file location. Here's a hint though. If you go back to QuickBooks, and here I am in my QuickBooks file, and I press the key F2. So it's the function key at the top of your keyboard, F2. You get a little screen like this. And right here is the location of your QuickBooks company file. That's the location you're gonna to wanna to use to connect to QuickBooks. Sometimes you'll have mapped letters like D colon or it'll have a short form for a drive, depending on who set it up. And you may need to get your network person to help you with this. But the LMN path to your QuickBooks file has to match exactly this path or else it thinks it's different company files. So I'm just gonna copy that path, go back to here, and cancel that. And I can actually paste that right in there and then hit okay. Now, after you hit OK, in the background in QuickBooks, you're going to see a, a message come up like this. And it's a message saying an application that calls itself LMN QuickBooks Sync would like to integrate with your QuickBooks file. And here you can choose the permission level that you want to give us. We would recommend you say yes, always allow access, even if QuickBooks is not running. That's the one that makes it easiest to sync the least amount of errors and logins, etc. So then hit continue. Here you're getting a screen that's, um, that you need to grant permission to LMN to say access the data. Uh, it is noting that it could be accessing social security numbers or customer credit card information because we're integrating with both customers and with employees. Neither one of those gets integrated with LMN. We don't read or uh, use customer credit card information in LMN. Are you sure you want to allow this access? We're going to say yes. And then it says you're chosen to grant this application. We say done and it'll say QuickBooks connection successful. And now we've created a link between LMN and your QuickBooks company file. The last thing we're gonna to wanna to do is just create a couple of settings. So here in the QuickBooks setup menu, I'm back in LMN estimating now. The last step of this is estimate, uh, LMN estimating. And there's just some basic settings here that we'll get explained more in later videos. Like what status of your estimates do you wanna view when you're queuing them for export? And after you export them successfully to QuickBooks, you want to update the estimate status to something else. And then finally, the default export format will control the level of detail that estimates get when they get exported. Either it's going to be every bit of information, every line item, labor, equipment, materials, and subs, or it's going to summarize it in major work areas, which is usually what we recommend. But you'll see more on those in the uh, estimate export video. Once you've done those three steps, you've finished your setup for QuickBooks. Now, if your QuickBooks is on a company server, you may need a network person to help you get through the uh, map drives, etc., or even have permission to the drive that QuickBooks is installed on. If you're still stuck, be sure to reach out to us. There's live chat, there's goelement.com slash help, or you can email us at advice at goelement.com. We'll do everything we can to get you connected and up and running. Once you get past the connected step, you'll never have to do that again. That'll stay there, uh, remembered by the system, and all we'll have to do is syncs from now on. It gets a lot easier every time we want to sync it.